I stood literally like for three hours. And then after three hours, Guys, I have a true story for you guys. Like, true story, true story, completely true story. And before you judge me for looking like an accountant, well, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so, you know, the, if you know the meaning of an accountant, I know those people on TikTok know what I mean when I say an accountant. But basically, guys, um, this is a true story of how I got conned in Nairobi. Hey, Nairobi. I hope I'm not spoiling the name of Nairobi, but it is not a lie that you can get conned. Hmm? And I'm... I think I'm going to do another video of how many times people have tried to con me in Nairobi. Now, I know some of you might think like maybe I was a visitor or something of the sort. I was not a visitor. I was actually born and raised. Uh, so I was born in Nairobi and um, I was pretty street smart or so I thought. Or so I thought. Yeah. So at that time, I was attending, I was doing a course. It wasn't really my campus course, but I was doing a course in uh, Strathmore. And Strathmore, I can't even remember. It was a long, long time ago. I guess I'm that old. It was, I can honestly not remember. It was, I just know it was a long time ago. But I cannot remember exactly at what time the Strathmore buses used to drop people off at Kencom. So um, it was a Saturday. That's all I can remember because um, I was dropped off pretty early at around 3 p.m. So uh, the buses would come and drop you off at Kentcom at around 3 p.m. or something of the sort. So I alighted from the bus. Now, <laughs> my phone was conned. I'm telling you, see, at it was stolen. You know, there's a difference between a phone getting stolen and a phone getting, getting you know, you yourself giving out that phone. It's painful, guys. And uh, there were no smartphones then. That's why I'm telling you it was a long, long time ago. And those days, you could not get a phone below 10,000. So it was not a kabambe. Yeah, you could not get a phone below 10,000. And you know, the market value of 10,000 at that time was like 20,000 right now, even 30,000. Like, you having 10,000 was a lot of money. So the phones at that time were like... I remember this phone my sister had bought it for me at about was it fifteen thousand? And fifteen thousand then was like I think thirty thousand right now. So you can imagine the pain I felt. Gay. So me I've alighted from the bus. I'm so excited. I used to like shopping for in Ibrahim's. Because Ibrahim's was the first supermarket in Nairobi. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I had an addiction to Ibrahim. So I, me, myself, and I, I started strolling to Ibrahim's. And then this guy comes up to me. For those of you who are maybe not Kenyan or something of the sort, just know that I alighted from the school bus and started strolling towards a supermarket. So I've strolled, I've strolled, I've strolled. Then this guy comes up to me, a very decent. When I say decent, I know what I'm talking about. I know a decent man and I know an indecent man decent and when i say decent he wasn't in a suit he was just in jeans and a t-shirt but the way he spoke was so eloquent he was like hey can i can you give me two minutes of yours i was like oh okay let me give you the two minutes and then he was like um you know in nairobi you don't stop for any stranger baby then he was like um do you model then i was like eh. <laughs> i was like <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> no, I don't. But you know, then you know, at that time, I'm also like, this is Nairobi. You know, at the back of my head, I'm like, this is Nairobi. Nobody stops somebody on the street like that. You know, it's not like we're in a restaurant. I'm on the street walking. Then he was like, um, uh, I work for a modeling agency. Ah, oh, that was a red flag. I was actually, I remember very well. I was like, eh. You work for a modeling agency. You work for a modeling agency. I was like, uh, no. 
then it's like i'm scouting people i was like mm, not interested because honestly i've never been interested in modeling unfortunately like it's never been an interest of mine so it's like i'm scouting people nini nini i'm still walking i didn't stop like literally he just followed me because after he started saying like he's from a modeling agency and all i was like oh okay yeah then i started walking because i was like this is nairobi anything can happen literally it was at the back of my head like this guy could be a robber despite being so eloquent and so decent and all that so then he was like um you know we're scouting people what 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 then when we reached the junction that is near okay just a road because i know some people might not be watching me from kenya just a road instead of me going to the supermarket i diverted and like started drop going to another direction because i was like okay this guy what does he want i was trying to shake off the guy and then the guy goes like um you know look at the time that's what he did he was like look at the time then i was like okay so what about the time then he's like it was like look at the time i was supposed to meet up with my boss at 4 p.m and you've actually made me delay then i was like seriously in my head i was literally like seriously <clears throat> and then the devil that you know tempted me into the next step <laughs> because <laughs> As they always say, when the deal is too good, guys, when the deal is too good, think twice. So I've rejected his idea of me modeling. I rejected um, something, something, other things like, the, like he was trying to offer. And then the guy looks at the time and is like, oh my God, I'm late. You've made me late. Then he looks, he feels in his pocket. And then he's like, Oh my god, I've forgotten my phone. <laughs> I've forgotten my phone. Hmm. So me, I'm there, I'm like, oh, okay, you've forgotten your phone. Then he's like, please, can you just assist me with your phone? I have to call my boss. I had told him we'll meet up at 4 p.m. And I'm already late. I should have thought like 4 p.m. on a Saturday. But I, in my head, I was like, okay, Nairobi is a busy town. Maybe they have a photo shoot at 4 p.m. or something of the sort. So I was like, okay, let me hear the guy, what he's saying. Like he looked literally distressed. When I tell you there are guys who can act, there are people who can act. So the guy's like, literally, I have to be, I, 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 I promised my boss we are meeting up at 4 p.m. I've forgotten my phone. Hey, please, can you just help me with your phone? I need that phone urgently. Of course, the first thing that comes to my mind is I don't have credit because I feel like this guy is a con man. But something in me is like, ah, oh, no, he's too decent. You know, he's too decent to be a con man. Okay. The guy goes like, don't worry, I'm going to buy you credit. I was finished. Remember those days, there was no 20 shilling credit. Remember those days, 50 shillings was like 200 shillings now. So there was no 50 shilling credit. There was no 20 shilling credit. Michael Joseph had only given us 250 shillings minimum. If you don't have 250 shillings, you can forget about owning credit. <laughs> So Michael Joseph had only given us the option of 250, 500, and 1,000 shillings. So when you buy that 250 and then it ends, hey, well, may yeesh. So the guy goes like, I'm going to buy you credit. <laughs> Who am I? A student <laughs> being bought for 250 Kenya shillings credit. And those days 250 was so hard to come by. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Stucky Kujua, I'm like, whoo, this guy is buying me credit. It's all right. It's all right. And you know, it didn't hit me that there were Simuya Jamis those days. Eh? Those days there was Simuya Jami. You can estimate, I'm sure the kids are like Simuya Jami. Yeah, kids. Kids. <laughs> kids, you're like Simuya Jami. You can Google what Simuya Jami is. <laughs> So it didn't even raise in my head like, hey, kuna simu ya jami. like why can't this guy go to a simu ya jami? There was simu ya jami. If in case you're not a Kenyan, simu ya jami was basically direct translation community phone that could call mobile phones. Hmm. Where? 
So um, nothing is clicking. You know, I'm already confused because the guy has mentioned buying credit. Eh? I'm already like, eh, buying credit. So I'm not even thinking like the Simuya Jamis. Like, why can't he go to a Simuya Jami and call his boss? So the guy goes like, then I'm like, why don't you buy credit? We walk, we walk, we walk. And then we reach a certain uh, building, right? So this building... It, unfortunately, it happens to be, let me just describe it so that you can get what happened. It happens to be those buildings that have a, a passageway in the middle. So you can move from this street across the building and into the next street. So we reached a certain building. There were shops there and all that. These shops that sell even airtime, credit, what, what, what. So the guy goes like... Um, can you help me with your phone so that I can load the credit? Let me buy from this shop. He even pointed, let me buy from this shop. And it was a decent looking street. First of all, the street, I can't remember. Is it Kenyatta Avenue? Yes. If you're a Kenyan, you know Kenyatta Avenue. It was on Kenyatta Avenue. But it was a decent looking street. So I was like, okay, fine. And the shop was really decent. So I was like, okay. So he, the entrance to the shop was on that alleyway, like the alley way in inside the building so i'm like okay fine then he's like wait for me here i'm bringing the credits i'm going to load for you <laughs> guys today's mama evil hey, hey i've never stood like that i stood for hours Hours. When I say hours, I mean hours. Like legit CRT. I'm just saying I stood for hours. And like in my head, I was still thinking like the gay is coming. Like I wasn't convinced I've been gone. Actually, like for three hours. And then after three hours, I'm just looking at the time. I had a watch. No, in fact, I didn't have a watch. I think there was a clock, a city clock or something somewhere. So I was just looking at it. Hey. Watch out the gay. I decided, I hey, let me just go, like, check, talk to those lead, check, check. To go, I discover the road comes on the other side of the alleyway. <sighs> My legs just became wobbly. I couldn't talk. I couldn't walk. I could not reason. I was just, like, the only thing I thank God is that the guy didn't call me, like, fair back home. Like... I was just like shocked. Like when the deal is too good, the my phone just went because of credit. Like up to now, I still look back and I just laugh. I'm like, I'll never be conned again. Nowadays, if anybody stops me on the streets of Nairobi, hey, even if you're lost, forget, hey, forget, sorry, forget. Like, hey. I learned the hard way, and by the way, I was like street smart. Like, I was into a kukoni or two, baby. Like, that gay had to like win my, you know, play psychology, win my, you know, everything so that I could give him that phone. And pity is what made me give him because I'm the kind of person like I normally pity people, but right now I'm smart. Hey, like you and your problems. <laughs> Nairobi, hi. <laughs> Go there, like carefully, in case you're not from Nairobi. <laughs> Go there carefully, because I'll I'll do another video. Like all the con men I've encountered in Nairobi, even if they didn't con me, I know they were con men, and I know all the tactics they were using. Like there's one guy. Let me just give you a, uh, what is it called? Just a preview. There was one guy. Uh, you see, before Hill, not Hilton, Intercon. Yes, the Intercon that is no longer there or no longer functioning. Intercon, Apo Numa, hmm? between Nyayo House and Intercon, and then Apo Uhuru Park, that area. Hey, pass there at your own risk. There was a time you could not pass there without con men. Like you, you move here, there's a con man. Move you move there, there's, there's a, a con, con man. man. Like that triangle here, Intercon, like. There was there was some guy who approached me na Masai Shuka. So me, I'm like, um in the good part, me I only used to stop when I'm with my sis. In fact, it was so lucky that that guy who called me the phone, I was alone. So the guy approaches us and then he's like, uh, 
naweza wauzia kitu then you know me in my head i'm thinking it's those medicines for nini what is it called those medicines that masai is normally sell cuz it was in a full sugar and then that this is behind intercontinental hotel if you're in kenya you know in nairobi you know so me and my sister are like oh okay let's see what he's got to offer after all we have no money <laughs> so the guy is like no sisi waonyesha hapa like i can't show you from here so as we are just walking he's following us then the guy goes like e ini litoa kwa shamba yetu now he removes a giant glass <laughs> of course it was glass a giant glass ball <laughs> from his shuka he's like i removed it from our farm from our ranch back home <laughs> and then he's like eh hey, naweza kuwa diamond Ati, this can be a diamond you know i just looked at that guy nikamwambia too we just laughed we burst out laughing me and my sis like the guy was even embarrassed like Yeah anyway <laughs> I could go on and on but I'm going to stop there and if you haven't yet subscribed <laughs> I do so many things but at this channel specifically I do beauty and makeup and fashion and I also like review for you guys stuff that is online like especially from AliExpress um yeah basically online websites I just kind of like act like your personal shopper or <laughs> yeah so that you don't have to go through all those thousands of items to get good things eh? so make sure you subscribe to this channel don't forget to like don't also forget to turn on the bell notification if you haven't seen if you like story times like this one if you haven't seen my other story time and my story times are always genuine like me I've lived that life <laughs> <laughs> there's a story there are story times that I've done like the one for Neymar I thought I thought that Neymar was a vision for some weird reason and um yeah there's uh, others basically I'm going to link some up here so make sure you check them out I'll see you in my next video ciao